Agricultural mechanization came into being in Africa by way of animals during the early civilization around 65,000 BC in Egypt. At the time, drought animals such as oxen, donkey, mules, and horses were used for land preparation and transport. According to research carried out by Starkey in 1994, animals were led to continuously tremble over cereals, pulses, and oil crops, leading to separation of grains from the husks. Milling was also done in a similar way, although the oil crops such as sesame and groundnuts were placed in a long wooden mortar and the animals, camel and oxen, dragged a long pestle over the produce until the oil was exhaled and butter formed. A fast forward to the 1960s so Kenya established an entire public sector operated machinery hire services with the sole objective of enabling smallholder farmers to access these services to produce high-value crops. For smallholder farmers, this would be a cost they cannot afford as the years trickle down into the 21st century. Today, a new kind of technology is in the hands of farmers across Kenya, which solves this problem. We met Joe Mogheri of Quipbank, who have created the first Uber for farmers. On the app, and get the equipment delivered to his farm or her farm branch. Most of the farmers could not access the equipment because they could not know the location of the equipment. So we formed the app so that a farmer in a remote area who doesn't know where the equipment is situated can simply press on the app and get the equipment delivered to his farm or her farm. The target audience was also a crucial part of the creation of the application. When Joe and his team were creating the app, who did they envision the app for? The small farmer in the village, those ones who have one acre, two acres, three acres, they're our target because many are times they're the ones who are manipulated by the brokers. The app caters for everybody. But our realization is that most of those people who have big farms, they're really mechanized. They have tractors, they have other equipment they use for their own farms. The other farmers who had small pieces of land, they're the ones who are mostly affected. Because for them, they're not in a position to buy a tractor, a harrow, and any other implement, as it will not be sustainable to do only their job, best that is on a smaller piece of land. Smallholder farmers indeed. Research by Tegemeo Institute in Kenya shows that the role of smallholder farmers in Kenya's agriculture has increased to the extent that they account for approximately 60% of the marketed production. In fact, smallholder farmers control 70% of the total area of tea and coffee. With this in mind, Joe and his team tailored the app to ensure that each farmer's need is met. So the features of the app are actually for placing the, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a feature for placing the order because many farmers book an equipment at the same time and based that the equipment will not be, will not be available for everybody, they, they, they book and they are told on the number of hours or number of days that are to wait in order for the uh, equipment to reach to them. There's another feature where they're supposed to make a preservation fee so that when they make a preservation fee, like a booking fee, it's a confirmation that they are serious for the, for the equipment and the equipment can immediately be mobilized to their farm. And again, there's another one for the type of equipment or for the type of equipment that they want. Either they want a chisel or they want a plow or they want a harrow, all that is in the app. So a farmer can select what they want. Also there's a feature whereby we can advise the farmer on the kind of equipment that they're likely to use for their farm. Maybe instead of using, the if the land is suitable for a chisel, you don't have to use a plow. Because when you use a plow, it leaves a hard pan on the soil. And, and like when you use a chisel, it goes deeper in the soil and scoops 
it's the uh, big amount of soil thereby retaining a lot of moisture and plants will not wither so we always advise the farmers through the app then from there we can deliver the equipment those are some of the features which are in the app So how exactly does one log in or even start the process of getting into the app? Joe shares with us an animation to show us just how it is done. With the application complete, it was time to release it into the market. Traditionally, farmers have used jumbas to till their lands. How would they receive the idea of placing their precious shamba into the hands of a stranger? Actually, when we started the app, farmers started raising because the cost of production reduced, because they could come directly to us for an equipment through the app and the brokerage costs were reduced than non-existent. Uh, thereby, the input in, on production has reduced and the output has increased, thereby resulting in profitability of the farm. When we come back, Joe shares just how they ensure that each farmer who books equipment is not left hanging high and dry. <laughs> 